In the first RPG tutorial video, we showed you how to level up. In this one, we're going to show you how to actually have something happen when you level up. So in this part of the tutorial, we're going to show you how you can make yourself stronger and have more health when you uh, increase your levels. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our level up logic cube, and we are going to go ahead and define two new number variables and these are going to be strength and health. So I'm going to copy quite a few things from our first line because this again is going to be ref referring to the global players strength and health. So let's go to values, uh, number, and new number variable. We're going to call this one strength and we're going to set this initially at 5. So your main player at level 1 starts with 5 strength. Then let's go ahead and just copy this line. And your main player is also going to have health. And that is going to start at 50. So here I have gone ahead and defined these two new number variables, but nothing is actually happening with, happening with them. Just like when we first defined that our level started at 1 and our XP started at 0. Uh, nothing was really happening, so before we jump into test, let's actually uh, connect this with uh, something happening. And the thing that's going to be happening is inside of our player. So we're going to go into our player's brain, and we are going to go to their second page. This is the first time we are going to uh, a new page in a brain, and so pages which you can just swap between with left bumper and right bumper, are really useful in helping you to put different states or, or different things that are happening on different pieces of a person or object's brain. And that's really useful here because we want to have a page just dedicated to leveling up. So this is going to be the page where all of our variables that would increase or all of our new things that would happen when our player levels up, that all happens right here on this page. Makes it really easy because you know where all the level up code is and you can also reference it a lot more uh, easily. So on this new page, we're going to start with a new um, code tile on the win side. So let's go to timing and logic. Let's go over to the second page and you're going to see this code tile called page entered. Now this code tile only runs one time as soon as you've come to this new page. And that's really useful to have things only run the once and also to detect as soon as you get to this one page. So let's go ahead and say that our strength, which we'll again find under values, numbers, um, each time I level up, that is going to increase or increment by, let's say, three. Let's copy this so we can kind of get a shortcut to our health. So we're going to choose uh, health here, and we're going to say that with each level, that increases by 10. And now health is just a number variable. It doesn't actually mean anything for your current health. So let's go ahead and make it so that your maximum health is equal to this current health meter, so therefore your, it's your maximum health that would be increasing with every level. So we can find our maximum health uh, under combat, go to the second page, go to combat properties, then go to health and defense, and you're going to find this max health tile right here, and here we can set it to be equal to our health. Now if you wanted to, also when you level up, you could make it so that your character also uh, goes back to full health. That sometimes happens in, in a lot of different games. So you could simply do that by also saying uh, on the do side, uh, go to combat and uh, go to the second page and you'll see health right here and setting that equal to uh, this number variable health as well. And so that kind of uh, increases your health to, um, to your max health, heals you up. Uh, of course, you, can, you don't have to include this line if you don't want that in your RPG. Now, the other really important thing is we want to name this page because we want to reference this page by its name, and right now it has no name. So we can go to uh, the brain options, and you're going to see this option to rename page. 
you click on that and uh, then you type in the page name. I like to have an at symbol before all my page names and this just keeps them near the front of my text list because uh, text list is, is ordered uh, alphabetically and uh, symbols appear at the very beginning of the alphabet. So it makes things a bit easier to find for uh, page numbers. So we're gonna call this one at level up. And now we can go ahead and on the, our first page reference that because the really important thing about pages is uh, in your object or your player they're only running one page at a time. You can switch pages or you can call pages into another page and that basically means that this page is also running together. So we need to have something happen where it calls in all the stuff happening on the second page on our first page or else our player is just going to be stuck on this first page and uh, never going to switch over to level up. So we can do that by adding a new line here. Let's do that on line 5. And we're going to, on the do side, go over to the second page, go to brains, and you're going to see this uh, code tile called call page. And the description there sums it up pretty well. It temporarily brings in another page and runs that for however long you need it to run. So that's perfect for us because we want to temporarily run all of the stuff on our second page. So to reference that by its name, you go to values, text, and then go to this text area and you will see level up right there. And that calls that page right there. Now you can also instead use the number two to call page number two because this is the second page. Uh, that works okay as well, but it makes it a lot harder where if you um, insert new pages, you might have to reorder all your pages. It's a lot easier and a lot more useful to you to just um, call pages by their names so that you know kind of what page you are you're calling. Now we also want this page to be called only when our level increases. So on the win side, we are going to look for um, our number variable called level. And then under uh, compare, you're going to see this code tile called increased. And now this will only call the page level up whenever my level increases. So that is perfect because I only want this page to run as soon as my level increases. So let's just go ahead and also add some debug lines here. And by debug lines, I mean adding in uh, lines that show uh, different variables so you just can kind of track them. So we're going to display strength um, at screen bottom center. Let's make that large font. And let's also go ahead and display uh, health. And so this just allows us to kind of see in our player what their current strength and health are to see if there are any issues. So their strength should start at 5 and their health should start at 50. So we go into health and now we see um, 8 and 60. So our strength is currently at 8 and our health is at 60. So our strength and health are set like they would be if I increased a level. So why did they go up? And the reason for that is we go to our level up logic cube. And you can actually see this on the very first line. The very first line we set global player level equals to 1. Now you wouldn't think that this counts as increasing the player's level, but it does because like we said in the last video, every single number variable starts at zero and then you define it. So even though you're defining that this this number variable called level is equal to one, it's still increasing from zero technically. So we can easily fix that by going into our player brain, going to uh, this line seven here where we say level increased, call page level up, and let's add a parent line now. So we want to just look for, basically, this is only going to be called once my level has gone above zero. So we can say when level is greater than zero, and then make this a child line under that. We go back into test, and you'll see it's now 5 and 50 correctly. So that's great. Now the next thing I want to do is we are displaying our health as a meter. So that's great, but it doesn't really tell us what our current 
health and max health are, which are useful when we're playing around with your, your max health and your current health increasing. So we're going to display um, our health as numbers instead of a, a meter. So let's go to Appearance, Display, and let's put a bunch of stuff within brackets. And um, this, these are what, call, what are called the sub-expressions. So this kind of packages up everything within these two brackets and makes that one statement that it's looking at. And that's kind of important here because we're going we're to have a lot of different text showing up here. So let's go to text, new text, and let's set just a, a piece of text that's health, colon, and space. Then let's add in your current health right there. Let's go to values again, go to text again, and let's just add a slash. And we want to put pluses between these. You don't technically have to, but it's just useful to kind of split these up. And then under combat, combat properties, health and defense, choose max health. So this will now display your health plus your max health as numbers um, with a nice slash between them and with the word health there. So let's put this at screen top left. And let's also make this font size a large font size. Now we can go ahead and get rid of our display meter for health. Jump into test. Now we see our health is 50 out of 50. That's great. So let's go ahead and punch some goblins and increase some levels. So you see that we're at level 2, and our strength is now showing 8 and her health is 60 out of 60, so that's great. But you'll notice that um, our strength isn't really increasing. So now we've gone up to level three and our strength is 11, health is 70 out of 70. Now I know our strength isn't increasing because I set on these goblins under their properties, combat, health and defense, I set their maximum health to be equal to eight. And when I was at level 2 and level 3, it was still taking me two hits to kill them. And that's because I haven't actually set my um, attack which with damage modifier. So I haven't actually made my strength really do anything besides just be a number on my player. So that can simply be fixed by going to line 11 here, where we have when X is pressed, do attack. And let's add a little modifier here that says attack with damage. And let's go ahead and grab our strength number variable up here. And now it's attack with damage strength. Go back into test. Let's punch our first goblin. He's down. Get our second one. Took him two, took two hits to hit him. Now our third one, just one hit. Same with our fourth. We're both just one hit. So that shows you a quick way of how to actually have things happen when you level up. This is just looking at your strength and health. We're going to get to things like mana and other things that you could have happen when you level up later on. The next thing we're going to go to in our next video, though, is showing how to dynamically increase the amount of XP you need to get to your next level.